for you throughout the week till now we've heard a lot of things all around the world news both good both bad yet we still give glory to the lord lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the lord tell the lord the father i thank you i glorify and i honor your name O oh lord for all you have done for me and my family for my friends for my co-workers for everything oh lord i've trusted you for it Thank you for the good and for the bad. 
Father, I bless your name and I worship thee this moment. Begin to lift up your voice. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Oh, he is good and his mercies endure forever. His faithfulness abide forever. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We adore your name. Oh, receive your glory this moment. Receive your honor this moment. Lord, be adored and be magnified. Oh, Lego Bada Hashi. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are the lily of the valley. You are the I am that I am, the beginning and the end. You are the fountain of life. Oh, God, you are my refuge. You are the rock of my salvation. You are the balm in Gilead. You are the great physician. Oh, God, you are Rafa. We bless and we magnify your name. We adore your name, O God. Receive your glory this moment. Receive your honor this moment. Thank you, sir. Then Pelega Pelia shows the Pella Branda Legadi. Because they brought in the Baha Silva Lagatuska Ben Pelega Jay. They toast the Bala Mahasi, the Bala Brade, Bala Haso. Oh, don't you have anything to be thankful for? Lift up your voice and thank the Lord. Hey, the soul of the Gade, the Lama Hase. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We bless and we adore you, Lord. We exalt and we extol you. You lift it up high. Oh, God, we lift it up high. Thank you, oh, Lord, for your kingdom stretches from shore to shore. You have, you are the beginning and you are the end. You are existence itself, oh God. Unto him that is able to keep us from falling, let your name be glorified. Unto him that dwelleth in unapproachable light, be lifted up high. He that dwelleth on the throne, oh God. For you are the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. Oh God, be lifted up high and be adored. Oh. Commit today's service into the hands of the Lord. Commit everything that is going to be proceeding here into the hands of the Lord, that the Lord will take absolute control. For He is the author and the finisher of our faith. So the beginning and the end will begin with us and will end with us. Or wherever you are, just commit today's service into the hands of the Lord. That His manifested presence will be felt in and through and with us. That He Oh Lord will be in the dwelling. The Bible says that he will dwell in the midst. His glory will dwell in the midst of his people. Therefore, oh, pray this moment and let the Lord take precedence in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kela Mahasha Brada Bayada Bayanta Bayata. Shala Bada Gadusha, Allah Gabaya Gabes, Shula Mahasha. Lego Bada Mahasha Brada Lebeka Jesus in Bella Hashi. In Lakataya Mosha Dada Bala Gadusha. Ah, Tala Take a Desh. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless and we magnify your name. We adore thee. Oh Lord, how we love you. We pray this moment and we commit today's service into your hands. Let your manifested presence, oh Lord, be seen and be felt. And in the end, uh, your glory and the honor will be given back to you. We do not wish to share and steal your glory. So therefore, Take the stage and Lord be Lord over us. We thank you and bless your name in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. We pray for thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy and are you joyful to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. If yes, I want to see your hand catch you. If you don't have one, reach out to someone and grab something from them. I want you to begin to wave your hand onto the Lord. Oh, come on. Wave, wave, wave. 
online in here, I want you to be waving her. Come on, come on now, wave. Sing out to the Lord, oh dear. Sing a holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah. The, sing unto the Lord. Oh, sing unto the Lord. Oh, sing out to the Lord. Oh, sing a holy song. Holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord. Oh, sing out to the Lord. Sing a holy song. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, worship. Hallelujah. Come on, wave your handkerchief. Come on, wave your handkerchief. Oh, hallelujah. Wonderful. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord of the earth. Sing a holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, sing a holy song. Sing a holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah.
Let's take it again. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Everybody sing.
Listen, 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 listen. Awesome God, mighty God, we give you praise. Awesome God, we give you praise. Mighty God, you are highly Lift up your hands and get into the mood of worship. You are highly lifted. Oh, come on, lift up your voice. You are highly to worship the awesome God, our mighty God. Open your mouth and worship him. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Open your mouth and speak to your maker. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. Open your mouth. God, you are good. You are good. You are good. Lord, you are awesome. You are a mighty God. We come before you and we place everything onto you, oh God. We place everything onto you, oh God. Our hearts are open. We want to feel you, oh God. We want to feel your presence, oh God. We thank you. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you 
open your mouth and worship the ancient of days. There is none like him. We have a consistent God. Many have searched and none can find. Many have searched and none can find. None can amount to the God that we have, to the God that we serve. Lord, you are the ancient of days. You are God from the beginning. The end, oh God. There is none like you, oh God. We worship your name. Continue to worship the Lord. Continue to feel his presence. Oh Lord, we fill you in your school, oh God. Use us here only vessels of your worship, oh God. We are only here on this earth for a little while. And our purpose on this earth is just to worship you, oh God. And that is what we will do. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and exalt your king. Open your mouth and exalt your king here. Bless his holy name. Oh Lord, we love you. You are amazing, God. You are an amazing God. Oh, we love you, oh Lord. We bow down before you. We just want to say how mighty you are, oh God. How big you are, oh God. How fantastic, oh God. Oh Lord, we love you. We love you. We bow down everything before you, oh God. There is none like you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and let the Lord use you. Let the Lord use you to Let the Lord use you this morning. Feel you. Feel you. This is your time to get close to the Lord. He doesn't ask for anything but your praise, but for your worship. He has done so much for you. Open your mouth. He gives you praise. Feel his spirit around you. Feel him in you. Lord, we worship you. We worship you. There is none like you. There is none like you. You are able to tell us. Lord, we feel you. Lord, we feel you. You are
El Shaddai. He is our Adonai. He is the Prince of Peace. Worship Him. Fill His Spirit. He is among us. We just need to worship Him. We just need to let Him in. Oh, this is your time to let the Lord in. Lord, you are the Son of God. There is none like you, Jesus. You worship Him. You are the Christian God. You can come for you for anything, oh God. We just want to let you in. The adoration you deserve, the honor of God, the honor of God, the love you deserve. Lift your voice up. I need to hear you. The Lord needs to hear you. He needs to feel your spirit. He needs to feel it. This is the time that we come and we stay for the Lord. This is the time that we give to Him. This is the time that He deserves. Oh, shout hallelujah. Oh, shout hallelujah. Give Him the glory. Give Him the glory.
to worship the Lord, open your mouth. Worship the sovereign God. He is still the sovereign God. From the first day that you were here, from the time that you were conceived in your mother's womb, to the day that you meet him again, he is a sovereign God. He is a sovereign God. Open your mouth and worship the sovereign God. He is still the same God of Moses. He is still the same God, same God of Esther, of, of Mary, of Naomi, of Ruth. He is the, still the sovereign God. He saw his children through. He saw his people through. He will see you through. Just open your mouth and worship the Lord. Open your mouth and worship the Lord. I need, he needs to hear you. He wants to feel you. He wants to feel your worship. He wants to be pleased by your worship. Just worship the Lord. Oh Lord, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We want to give you the glory that you deserve. We want to give you the honor that you deserve. Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. Use us, Lord, to your own justice for your children. Not only your children, but your children. We will worship you. From the time we wake up in the morning to the time that we go to sleep, O oh God, you are still the sovereign God. And we just want to give you the glory. Praise the Lord. He needs to hear it. He needs to feel it. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. God, we just want to adore you. You deserve the adoration. You deserve the praise, oh God. You deserve it, oh God. There is none like you. There is none like you. You are the same from the beginning, oh God, to the end, oh God. And we just want to worship you for the I don't know we lift your name on high. There is none like you. Oh, continue to worship your God. Continue to praise him. He deserves everything. He has seen you through. Even waking you up this morning, many people cannot wake up. Open your mouth and worship him for the gift of life. Because through the gift of life, we can show love. We can show our praise. We can show him our worship of God. Oh, Lord, you are amazing. You are amazing. Open your mouth. Yes, Lord, we feel your praise. There is I'm like you, he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still before the Lord. Yeah, yeah. He's still before the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Lord yeah. Let us be silent and feel the Lord's presence among us. Father God, we thank you for a time like this, oh God. Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever, oh God. Amen. We know that you are consistent. Yes. You are the only consistent thing in our lives, oh God, and we just want to say glory be unto your name, oh Lord. We thank you for putting us on this stage to minister your word, oh God. We are only vessels for you to use, oh God. Speak through us. Draw your people closer, oh God. We pray that this morning you speak through every single person watching and on stage and playing, oh God. We are playing for your glory, oh Lord. You are the sovereign God. There is none like you, oh God. Many have searched and none can find because you are the glorious God. We have many names for you, Prince of Peace, Adonai, El Shaddai. All we know you as is wonderful God, oh glory. Oh glory, oh God. We pray that today you use us in a special way, oh God. We are not here on earth forever, oh God. This is our temporary home, oh God. And while we are here, oh God, we are meant to worship you, oh God. We are here to praise you, oh God, and that's what we intend to do, oh God. Please bless your people. Use us, oh God. So that in the end, we can all come together and say glory be to your name. We ask for your love and your protection, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving and love. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you are more than willing to offer unto the Lord your first fruit, but this is not the time to give your first fruit. That time will soon come. I am here to help you give your tithe and your offering unto the Lord. It is time to give your tithe and your offering. And we'll base our
tithe this giving on this scripture. Genesis chapter 28, verse 20. If you can please help me project it on the screen. Genesis 28, 20. And Jacob prayed that if God, you will give me food to eat, if you give me clothes to cover my body, a place to lay my head, and give me your protection, then everything that comes into me or into my life, I will give the tenth unto you. Jacob was talking about tithe. If last night, I'm not talking about the whole year, if God has fed you, if the Lord has clothed you, if the Lord provided a shelter for you, then you owe him your tithe. Then you have to offer unto him your thanksgiving. If you want God to take care of you throughout the year or for the remaining year, if you want God to feed you, if you want God to put clothes over your body and provide a place for you to sleep, then you have to give unto the Lord your tithe and your thanksgiving. Because when Jacob prayed this prayer, the Lord granted him all his ways. And I believe he changes not. He is still the same. If you are willing to do the same, this God will take care of you no matter what. If you are willing, why not just go ahead and start giving your tithe and your offering to the Lord and God Almighty will bless you. Heavenly Father, I pray that your people have obeyed your ways and they are more than willing to give unto you. May you open the doors of heaven and pour down your blessing upon them. Provide for them everything that they will ask for you. Let them know and let them witness your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. Amen.
to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to our Lord. We say glory be to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to our Lord. We say glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord. Oh, we say glory be to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord. We say glory be to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Wherever you are, I want you to put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What shall we offer to you, O oh Lord? For your grace has taken us through. Hallelujah. 
We bring our sacrifice of praise for your grace has taken again. Hallelujah, your grace has taken us through. Oh Lord, your grace has done it again. Precious one, we bow down to you. Oh, gracious one, we bow down to you. Hallelujah, your grace has taken us through. Oh, Lord, your grace has done it again. Hallelujah, gracious one. We bow down to you, oh, oh gracious one. one. We bow down to you. Hallelujah, your grace has taken us through. Oh Lord, your grace has done it again. Gracious one, we bow down to you. Oh, gracious one, we bow down to you. Oh, gracious one, we bow down to you. Ah, gracious one, we bow down to you. He shown himself up once again. In our sacred cow, oh, and brought satisfaction to all. Oh, Jehovah, Captain of our host, we bow to you. Oh, Jehovah, Captain. We praise, we praise your, your name, name. Oh, Jehovah, oh, Captain, Captain of our host. We praise your name, Jehovah, Captain of our host. Oh, we bow to you. To you, Hallelujah! He shown himself up once again. Hallelujah! In our sacred cup, oh, and brought satisfaction to all. Hallelujah! Jehovah, Captain of our hope, we pray. To you, Hallelujah, Jehovah, Captain of our home. We praise your name, Oh Jehovah, Captain of our home. Oh, we bow to you, Oh Jehovah, Captain of our home. Captain of our own, we praise your name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, once again, wherever you are, put your hands together for God. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. It has been a seven-day journey with the Lord, beloved. And today is the last day, the climax of our seven-day spiritual exercise and I know you are blessed. Hallelujah. I know you have received what God intended for you to receive this week. Oh, if you believe, shout a big amen. If you believe, shout a bigger amen. 
Beloved, God has been good. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. May the grace and the peace and the love of God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied unto you all. Amen. Beloved, this morning we thank God so much for this opportunity to stand before you and share the word of God. As you all know, we have been in a seven-day journey with the Lord. We have engaged the Lord this past few days. And today we want to climax it in a grand style. Hallelujah. We want to crown this journey in a grand style. Hallelujah. I want to bless the name of the Lord for giving me the opportunity. I also want to bless our fathers, our original apostle, and the original executives, and our district pastor, and the district executives, and the leadership in the church for giving us this opportunity uh, to stand before you this morning and share the word of God. Amen. Beloved, this week has been a wonderful week. I don't know if you agree with me. This week has been a wonderful week. A week that we have engaged the Lord fully to its entirety. Hallelujah. And today, we want to do our due diligence for the last to seal this journey and receive the blessings that God has designed for us with our first fruits. Oh, does somebody have their first fruits ready to offer unto the Lord? Oh, I can't hear you. Do you have your first fruits ready to offer unto the Lord? If you have this, shout a big amen. Amen. The theme that we have been working with this week, as you all know, is Ebenezer. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Oh, I want you to say to, your, to the Lord, Ebenezer, thus far, the Lord has helped us. Wherever you are, I want you to say this, Ebenezer, thus far, the Lord has helped me. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Amen. Beloved, we've had many speakers speak into this theme. I can confidently say that all the speakers have touched everything that needs to be touched. Hallelujah. And I pray and I trust God that you started this journey on Monday with us, and today you are ending up with us. Hallelujah. Because it's a power-packed, fully loaded journey with blessings. Hallelujah. But for the sake of those who are just joining us today, I'll quickly recap, and then we will touch on the blessings of a faithful giver quickly, and then we will end our sermon for today as we bring this week's fasting and prayer, our first fruit, to an end. Hallelujah. So as the, as, as the Lord gave to our leaders, the theme, Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has brought us. I'm going to read quickly the scripture reading that was given to us from 1 Samuel, the seventh chapter. I'll start reading from the first verse to the maybe the 14th verse hallelujah it says that so the men of Kiriath Jerem came and took up the ark of the Lord they took it to Abinadab's house on the hill and consecrated Eli Eliezer his son to guard the ark of the Lord it was a long time 20 years in all that the ark remained in Kiriath Jerem and all the people of Israel mourned and sought after the Lord. Hallelujah. And Samuel said to the Lord, the whole house of the Israelites. And he says that if you are returning to the Lord with all your heart, 
Then get rid of your foreign gods and the asteroids. And commit yourself to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Hallelujah. Beloved, so right here from verse 1 to verse 3, you can tell that this is the process that the Israelites, the children of God, had to go through. Number one, they realized that they were in the wrong path. Hallelujah. And they decided that they want to return to the law because they have been subdued for too long a time. And they said that, no, 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 no. I have to turn things around. I have, my situation has to change. And as a result, they had to return back to the Lord. I pray that even as we have journeyed through this week, you have also made that same decisions that the Israelites made. That they decided that, no, I'm going to return to my Lord. And I'm going to get rid of all the bows and the asteroids in my life. Hallelujah. Any God that have placed a priority in my life, I'm getting rid of it. Anything, any sin, you know it. Hallelujah. So number one, they got, they got rid of the asteroid, they returned back to their law. A sign of repentance. And I know we have gone through that period of repentance even this week as we get ourselves ready to be blessed by the Most High God. Amen. And verse 4 says that so the Israelites put away the the bows and the asteroids, and then they served the Lord only. I pray that you serve the Lord only. Hallelujah. Even in the year 2021, even if last, last year you couldn't serve the Lord fully, I pray that this year you will give all your heart to the Lord and serve him wholly. Hallelujah. Then Samuel said, assemble all the Israelites at Mizpah, and I will intercede with the Lord for you. Hallelujah. This is the, the, their leader Samuel speaking here to the people of Israel. And then he says that when they had assembled at Mizpah, they drew water and poured it out before the Lord. This is a sign of repentance. Hallelujah. A sign of repentance. And then on that day, they fasted and they confessed. They fasted and they confessed. Beloved, this week we have been through that same spiritual exercise. Hallelujah. We have fasted. We have confessed our sins, we have turned around, and we have repented and returned back to the Lord. I pray that if you haven't caught that grace yet, may you catch it today in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says that we have sinned against the Lord, and Samuel was leader over Israel at Mizpah. Verse 7 says that when the Israelites heard that Israel had assembled at Mizpah, the rulers of the Philistines came up to attack them. Hallelujah. Their enemies came back again, but they didn't know that this time they have returned to their God. Oh, their God, the Israel's God, the army of hosts. Hallelujah. And then when the Israelites heard it, they were afraid because of the Philistines. I pray that God should take away any fear out of you. Even as we've gone through this seven days spiritual exercise, waiting on the Lord and getting ourselves ready for a grand victory. Hallelujah. May God take away any fear out of you this morning. Verse 8, it says that they said to Samuel, do not do not, do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us. That he may rescue us from the hand of the Philistines. They are, we are getting to the second process that they went through. And then look at what God, the Bible says. It says that then someone took a suckling lamb and then offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. He cried out and the Lord he cried out to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered them. Hallelujah. I pray that this morning, this whole week, all your prayers that you have said to the Lord, may you be answered. May you receive answers. Hallelujah. May you receive answers. So they repented. They went back to their God, 
And the second thing they did was that they cried to the Lord. Hallelujah. This whole week we have been crying and shouting on the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord which is a strong tower. When the righteous run to it, they are saved. Hallelujah. This morning, this morning I pray that even as we have consecrated ourselves this whole week and we have become righteous again, oh, may as we cry unto the Lord, may help come our way. Hallelujah. May help come our way. May help come our way. Whatever you are going through, maybe even as you've gone through this whole week, it, it seems as if God hasn't heard your prayer. But I pray to God, even as the Israelites did the same, and the Bible makes us understand that as they cry to the Lord, the Lord answered them, may an answer come to you. May you be answered, hallelujah. May your situation turn around, hallelujah. And the Bible said that and Samuel, their leader, did something remarkable that we want to climb us this journey of seven days with. And the Bible says that, and Samuel offered a burnt offering. Hallelujah. May you offer your first fruit today unto the Lord as a burnt offering, holy and acceptable to the Most High God. Holy and acceptable to the Most High God. And the Bible says that after they repented, after they cried, and after they offered unto the Lord, look at what happened. Answer came to them. The Bible says that, and when the Philistines were about to attack them, oh, there was a loud thunder, a loud thunder, a loud thunder. I pray, I pray, I pray that there will be a loud thunder Jesus. against your enemy. Hallelujah. Yes. May God release a loud thundering noise to shake the foundations of your enemies. Hallelujah. And drive your enemies away. If you believe, shout a big amen. Amen. Verse 10. It says that while someone was sacrificing, oh my God. While someone was sacrificing, oh beloved, look at what happened. While we were offering our first fruit this morning, look at what is about to happen. The Bible says that, and the Philistines drew near to engage the Israelites in battle, but that day, the Lord thundered with loud thunder, hallelujah, against the Philistines and threw them into such a panic and they were all routed before the Israelites. May your enemies tremble before you, hallelujah. Jesus. May all your enemies tremble before you. May every Philistine, every Philistine be shaken before you. And verse 12, this is where our anchor scripture this whole week is taken from. And the Bible said, as they have gone through all these processes, they have returned to their God. They have, returned, they have repented. They have consecrated themselves. They have confessed their sins. They have cried out to the Lord. And then they have offered a burnt offering, as we are about to do today, offering our first fruit. The Bible says that in verse 12, it says that, then Samuel took a stone and set it up before Mizpah and Shem. He named it Ebenezer. Oh, may you shout Ebenezer. May you shout Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. saying, thus far the Lord has helped us. Beloved, I know you can agree with me today that the Lord has done great things for us. Hallelujah. For us to be able to survive and transition from the year 2020 to the year 2021 this year. Oh, we owe God every appreciation and every thanksgiving this morning. Hallelujah. And as we have gone through the process, this morning we want to render our utmost sacrifice in a sign of worship, in a sign of appreciation to what God has done for you and I. Oh, you didn't say a big amen. Amen. Beloved, if you are ready to sacrifice a burnt offering, your first fruit to the Lord, shout a wave offering and a, and a praise offering. Hallelujah. Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has brought us. And let's read verse 13 and 14. Again. And it says that, so the Philistines were subdued 
and did not invade Israel's territory again. 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 Hallelujah. May your offering today seal your protection against your adversary. Says that after they had done all that, and Samuel, their leader, had put in a stone as a memorial to tell the people that once upon a time, our Lord raised a great army against our enemy, and we subdued them. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I pray, as they did the same thing with a stone, I pray that this morning, you, we don't have a stone, but our stone is our heart this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray to God that this morning you give your heart to God as a stone, as a sign, as your Ebenezer stone. Signify your appreciation to what God has done for you and what he's about to do. If you believe, shout a big amen. 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 And it says that no more were they invaded by their adversaries. And verse 14. The town from Ekron and Gath had, that the Philistines had captured from Israel were restored to them. I pray this morning that everything that you have lost in the year 2021, even as this year has started with some few days, even as you have, you have journeyed through these 17 days already in the year 2021, you probably have lost some, a, a thing or two. I pray that may it be restored unto you. Oh, you didn't believe that. Unless, of course, you don't want any stolen goods returned to you. Oh, shall stolen goods return? Stolen goods return. Any stolen goods that the devil has taken from you and I, may it be returned to you. Hallelujah. May it be returned to you. And there was a peace between, there was peace between the Israelites and the Amorites. Beloved, because of our time, this is just, a recap of what we have been going through this whole week. Hallelujah. I want to finalize and wrap up my message with this subtopic. The blessings of a faithful giver. The blessings of a faithful giver. This morning, I pray that God will make a faithful giver out of you. Oh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't like that. I pray that this morning, God will make a faithful giver out of you. Oh, I don't feel you. I pray that this morning, God will make a faithful giver out of you. Oh, I said again that this morning, I pray that God will make a faithful giver out of you. Oh, if you believe, shout a bigger amen. Man, Dalabos. God is about to make you and I a faithful giver. There's a common story in the Bible that I want to ask to go through quickly. And then we'll wrap out and bring our message to an end. The blessings of a faithful giver. As we said in 1 Samuel chapter two, uh, 7, as we read the story, the process that the Israelites went through, we have gone through all this week. The only last step is our offering. Today, this morning, we want to wrap up the blessings of the Lord and take it by force with our faithful giving. I pray, as I am preaching right now, I pray that God will begin to speak to you. Your Ebenezer stone is all about your heart and my heart this morning. Hallelujah. May God begin to work your heart. Hallelujah. Man, Darabos. The story of Abraham who did one profound and unprecedented sacrifice in the history of the book, the Bible. If you read Genesis chapter 22, maybe because of our time, we probably wouldn't be able to read all. But I want to touch a few parts or portions of that scripture. Genesis the 22nd chapter, I want to start from verse 1. It says that sometime later, God tested Abraham. This week, as I was pondering over this whole thing, and as we got closer to today, I said to myself that we have been through all the process. Today is the day testing. Say, today is the day of testing. Hallelujah. Today is, 
is, is the day for us to show God that indeed we appreciate what he has done for us. Are you ready? Oh, beloved, are you ready? He says that he said to him, Abraham, that means that there was a discourse and a conversation between Abraham and God. I pray that this morning, as you, as you are under the sound of my voice, may God begin to speak to you. Hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are, as you watch us from the comfort of your home, may God begin to speak to you. It says that Abraham, he called on Abraham. Then Abraham replied, I am here. He replied. And then the Bible says that, and God said, take your son, your only son, your only son, who you, have, you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering. Oh my God, I pray. Oh, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that your burnt offering will be acceptable to God this morning. Your burnt offering. And then unto the mountain I will tell you about. I pray that God will begin to speak to your heart right now. Wherever you are, may God begin to speak to you. Early the next morning, the Bible says that he journeyed through uh, the, 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 while he was going to offer a sacrifice to the Lord. I'm trying to paraphrase and run through quickly because of our time. And then it says that when he had cut enough wood and burnt offering, he set it out to a place God had told him about. Verse 4. On the third day, Abraham looked and saw a place at a distance. Oh, may you see, may you see, may God open your eyes to see what he's about to do in your life. Hallelujah. And then he said to the servant, stay here. I pray that whatever will be a distraction for you today, may you begin to speak to that thing, for that thing to, 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 to stay behind. Hallelujah. As you are about to offer unto the Lord. Anything that will be a distraction, I pray that you will leave it behind. We will worship and then we will come back to God. Hallelujah. As pastor said this, through this week, he says that today is just worship time. Hallelujah. And Abraham said the same thing. He said as he was about to offer his burnt offering, he said to the servant that stay here. I'm going with my son to worship. Oh, may we have some worshipers this morning. Hallelujah. May we have some worshipers this morning, even as we bring our first fruit to the Lord. Oh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't like that idea. I said, may we have some worshipers this morning. Hallelujah. And Abraham took the wood and the burnt offering, offering, off, offering and then placed it on the sun. And then as it goes, go to verse 7. And Isaac said that to the father, Father, everything is ready. Says the father, the fire and the wood is here. Isaac said, and says that what? Where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Verse eight. And Abraham answered, God Himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. I pray that God will be your provider this morning. And the two of them went on together. Verse nine. When he reached the place of God, had the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there. And arrange the wood. May you have an altar of memorial this morning. Hallelujah. As you are about to offer your burnt offering, your first fruit to the Lord. And the Bible says in verse 10. It says that then he reached out his hand. And then verse 11. When he was about to slay his son. An angel came from nowhere. I pray that this morning may an angel visit you. Hallelujah. May an angel from nowhere visit you. And Abraham he shouted, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Verse 12, do not lay your hand on the ball. The, the Lord, he said, do not do anything to him. Now I know, now I know you fear the Lord. Beloved, this is our way to show God that we fear him. Hallelujah. Because you have not withheld your son, your only son. May you not withhold your burnt offering this morning. May you not withhold your first fruit this morning. Beloved, may you not withhold it from God. God said that because you have done this, I know that you fear me. Do we have somebody who fears the Lord this morning? Oh, do we have somebody that fears the Lord this morning? Man, dollar boss. 
He says that Abraham looked up and there in the ticket, he saw a ram caught by the horn. Oh, he saw a ram caught by the horn. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. He saw a ram caught by the horn. The Bible says that it is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich. And he adds no sorrows to it. I pray as you offer your sacrifice to the Lord this morning, may he open the floodgates of heaven for you to be blessed. A blessing that you will not sweat before you get. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that in a ticket was a ram caught by the horn. What it signifies is that Abraham was an old man. And a ram, you know, the characteristic of a ram is that they are rough. They are rough. They are rough. But because the old man cannot struggle with the ram, the Bible says that the thing that they use to defend themselves, the Bible took it out of the equation. I pray that anything that God wants to bless you with, may he take away anything that is difficult inside. May it be a pure blessing coming from God. And he will add no sorrow to it. If you believe, shout a big amen. Amen. He said that caught by the, the horn. May God take away any suffering away from your blessing this morning. And this is the most important part. Verse 13. It says that Abraham looked up. Verse 14. Let's go to verse 14 quickly. As I want to wrap up. It says that so Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. Oh, this morning, may it be a memorial day that you say that today, on 17th of January, of, on January 17th, 2021, the Lord provided for me. Hallelujah. May you say that in the books of your, 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 your life, in the histories of your life, may you say that on January 24, uh, 17, that day, that faithful day, the Lord provided. Hallelujah. He says that on the mountain, the Lord will, it will be provided. May it be provided for you. Hallelujah. Verse 15, it says that then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven and said the second time. And this part I love so much. It says that, and God himself said that I swear by myself. Hey, Kabo, see Katalabaya. God said that for what you have done, I am swearing by myself. Oh, may you trigger God this morning to swear to do something unprofound in your life this morning. Oh, if you believe, shout a big amen. Le Kaba says that declares the Lord that because you have done this, you have not withheld your son. Your only son. Because you have not withheld your first fruit this morning. Because you have, you have been in a conversation with the Lord. And you have discussed with the Lord. And God has speak, spoken to your heart this morning. Oh, beloved, may you, may you, may you receive that blessing. I want to wrap up quickly. And, I, and then he says that I will surely bless you. And make you descendant as numerous as the stars. In the sky, as the sun on the seashore. Your descendants will take possessions of their cities, of the cities of the enemies. Verse 18, and through all, through your offsprings, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Then Abraham returned to, to his servants. Beloved, quickly, I want to bring us some few blessings and then we'll bring our message to an end. As we read this scripture, this story from Abraham and his son Isaac, as Abraham offers his only son. The interesting thing about this offering is that Abraham needed a son and God gave it to him. And God said that, give it back to me. But Abraham, knowing the God that he served, he says that, I know that my God has something up his sleeves. So even though I needed a son and he gave it to me and he's asking for it back, I know there's a bigger blessing coming my way. Hallelujah. Number one, blessing of a faithful giver. You receive divine providence. Hallelujah. The Bible says that out of nowhere, the ram was provided. Out of nowhere, help came. Out of nowhere, help came. I pray that you will receive divine providence this morning. Number two, divine provision. Divine provision. Divine provision. If you read, it says that in the latter verses, it says that, and then 
when you read verse 17, let's go back to verse 17. It says, I surely bless you and make your descendants numerous, in the, like in the sky, in the, in the sky and, and the, as the sand on the seashore. And your descendants will possess the cities of their enemies. Hallelujah. Number three, always, you are always fruitful as a faithful giver. You will lack nothing. You are always, you are always producing. Hallelujah. May you, be, may you be always fruitful as you bring your first fruit this morning. Number four, it says that always you overcome your enemies. Hallelujah. A great preacher said that we cannot stop the enemy from attacking us. But what we can do is to stop him from defeating us. Hallelujah. I pray that as you bring your first fruit this morning, may you always overcome your enemies. And the last one, you receive transgenerational blessings. Hallelujah. Transgenerational blessings. Blessings that only doesn't stay in your generation, but it goes down to your children and your children's children and your children's 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 children. Hallelujah. Transgenerational blessings. Beloved, I want to admonish you this morning, even as I bring my message to an end. May God, our Father, as you bring your first fruit to him, May the Lord give you a heart of a faithful giver so that you, your heart will be set as an Ebenezer stone of appreciation and gratitude to the Most High God. May God bless you. Hallelujah. May God make you a giver. May God expand your territories. Hallelujah. May God rain on you transgenerational blessings. May God give you divine providence and divine provision. Even as we offer our first fruit this morning. Beloved, may the good Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We want to pray one prayer. And then we offer our sacrifice unto the Lord. One prayer. Says the blessings of a faithful giver. Mm. This morning, I want you to pray. As you are about to offer your first fruits, ask God to give you the spirit of a faithful giver. Oh, lift up prayer right now. Lift up prayer right now. Ask God to give you a, 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 the spirit of a faithful giver this morning. Wherever you are, beloved, as we get ready, as we get ready to offer our first fruit, one prayer that we are praying this morning. Is that God, give me the heart of a faithful giver. Give me a heart of a faithful giver. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, be on your feet right now. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Even as we offer prayers to God. Tell God to touch your heart. Touch your heart. Lord, touch my heart this morning. And make me a faithful giver. Le ke te le bro sin de le baya Ma le ka bro si anda la baya Ma le ke te le bro si anda la baya Ma anda la basun de le be Le ke te le bo su anda la baya Le ki ba ya anda la bo Shan da la bare ke te le bo anda le be Ma le ka bo san ta la baya Oh pray 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 let God touch your heart Your heart it's your Ebenezer stone this morning. Your heart is your memorial this morning. Ask God to prepare your heart. As you bring your first fruits. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray and we thank you for this morning. Even as your children, even as we are about to offer our first fruit. We pray that you touch every heart. Every heart, oh God. And make it like the heart of Abraham, who did not withhold his offering to you. And as a result, you blessed him immensely. We pray this morning, as we would not withhold our first fruits from you, O God. We pray that you bless us, open the floodgates of heaven, and pour down blessings on us Jesus. this morning. If anybody is struggling with anything or is, is, is crying because of something, May help come their way this morning. And rescue and deliverance come their way. We thank you, Father, even in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Nina ye o de This is the hour. This is the time. This is the moment. And Abraham said, you and the servant, wait here. I and Isaac, we are going to worship God. We are going to worship God. I need my musician here. I need my musician here. We are here to worship God. We are here to worship God. The moment and the hour of worship. It is not your fruit, it is not your sacrifice. It is an act of worship. Yes, 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 yes. Abraham said, Jesus, we are going to the top of yeah, the mountain. Oh, yeah, we are here to watch it. Hey. Hey. Oh, Jesus, yeah, oh, I don't want you to give yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't want yeah, you to yeah. give yet. Just watch it. Just watch it. Just watch it. Fatawo, Ye Fatawo, Ye 
Yama Yeti Bama Wo Asidara Newo Yeti Mawuda Asidasha Yama Yeti Bama Wo Asidara Newo Yeti Mawuda Asida Fatawo Ayayi Fatawo Yahini Yahini Christo Oh Asida Fatawo Ayayi Fatawo Yahini Yahini Christo Asida Shayama Yeti Bama Wo I said, run the wall. I said, 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 I I want you to start worshiping God. 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 Worship God. God. A lot has happened. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Let us Ma kabarande le wo su de le be ri andara ba ya de le ri patata le ma ma ra ba ya de le wo su de le be ri andara ra ku wo re se ta la ba ya de le be le ke te le wo si andara ba ya shanda la ba ro si andara le be re ke te le be ri andara le be ma le ke te le bro si andara ba ya le ka ma ro to you the sacrifice of our sins and thanksgiving and we offer all to you the sacrifice and thanks of we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Oh, and we are to do you the sacrifice of sins of thanksgiving. And we are. Israel saw the Philistines coming. Oh, yes. They signal unto Sam, Samuel, oh, do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. They cry unto Samuel, hey. 
The Bible said oh, after that, mm. Samuel took a lamb Jesus. and offered a sacrifice oh, unto the Lord. Hey. Samuel took a lamb oh, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord. The Bible said right there, right there, tender came down, lightly came down, fire came down. Church, the point is. Mm. When prayers and sacrifice come together, Jesus. Hey. when prayers and sacrifice come together, my God. when someone didn't stop praying and Le brought a sacrifice, my Jesus. throughout the week we have fasted and we have prayed. Yes, Lord. There's something one more thing that we have Jesus. to do. Jesus. You fasted and you pray. Yes. There's still one more thing for yes. you to do. Yes. Because yes. when the sacrifice yes. and your prayers come together, hey. come on. Come fire on. come down from heaven. Lightly come down my from heaven. Lightning that destroys. Enemies, you have something to do. Do you want to destroy your enemies? Support your prayers with your sacrifice, and you will see the mercy hand of God. When someone offer a sacrifice to support his prayer, Lightly came down. Try God and see. Test God and see. With your sacrifice, in today's world, in today's world, we are at war. We are at war. Every day is a war. Every day is a war in your life. As you have fasted, as you have prayed, you need to pack it up with a sacrifice. Because when the two come together, oh, heavens will Jesus. open up. Jesus, 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 will come down. Jesus, 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 you are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. They call him as You are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. Come on, sing with me. As you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. You are worthy of my praise. They call him a say. You are worthy of my praise. He's worthy of my praise. Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. 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 His name is Eze. Eze. You are worthy of. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of. Shout out to him one more time. Eze, you are worthy of our praise. He's worthy. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. Worthy of our praise. Eze, you are worthy of our praise. Worship him. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of His name is Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus. Hey, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, Eze, You are worthy of our praise. Oh, 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 oh. 
a nurse, there is a case. Jesus. I want you to worship him. Say you are worthy. You are worthy. In the next that says you are worthy of all praise. To total of us. Oh, Mandra Bakema, Sata, Yandra Kama, Yama Sata, Yandra Kama, Yama Baba, 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 Worship him. Worship him. Siandra Kama Sata. Eva Baba Sata. Eva Baba Kama Sata. Eva Sata. Eva Baba Kama. Eva Sata. Eva Sata. Eva Sata. Eva Sata. Eva Sata. Eva Sata. The reason why Abraham didn't say, I am going to offer sacrifice, but I'm going to worship, was that the Bible said he dwells in the worship of his people so that he wants God to come. Yes. So the only thing that will move God is worship. It's worship. It's worship. So he didn't say that, oh, I'm going to offer sacrifice. sacrifice. God will then come. The only thing that he would see God was worship. Was worship. worship. As we are worshiping, God is coming. Let so that when your sacrifice touches God, God will be there. God will be there. God will be there. God will be there. Jesus. Baba, you are Tarabaya. He inhabits the worship and the praise of his people. Jesus. 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 Beautiful Savior, glorious Lord. Now God is with you. God has come. What this way? God has come. Blessed Redeemer. Living in one. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Now God has come. Beautiful Savior. God has come there. As we give you the opportunity, oh, glorious Lord. Divine provision. Divine provision. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Jesus. God is with Transgenerational blessing. This year, God is with you. 
This your God is with you. Emmanuel. God is with us. Blessed we be. Emmanuel. God is with us. Blessed Redeemer, Missing one of Funo, and I'm a natural by, a natural by, and one of Funo, on my yes, a trip, yes, a trip, yeah, dear, for river. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a taste of our glory divine! Hell of salvation, purchase of God. Oh. And blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a taste of glory divine! Hell of salvation, precious of God. Has finally come Jesus. for you to give your first fruit unto the Lord. Okay. I don't know how you see this, Jesus. but so far as I am concerned, yes. it's like God, I can't take care of myself oh. in this world that I find myself in. Please take this first fruit of mine yes. and then watch over my life. Amen. Please take this first fruit of mine. And protect my and my family. Okay. So, I, I I just want to repeat myself about something that I have already said before. When the people of Israel saw the Philistines coming, fears overtook them. They started crying. They cry and they cry, but crying alone couldn't solve the problem. The crying alone couldn't solve the problems. They told someone to continue to pray for them. 
as Samuel continued to pray, that alone could not solve the problem mm. until something happened. Mm. When Samuel brought the lamb and offered a sacrifice, mm. something happened. Mm. Something big happened. Jesus. When your prayers and your sacrifice come together, when the two are merged together, yes. oh, heavens could not sit. Amen. God could not continue sitting Amen. down. Amen. Something has to happen. Mm. Just as you have fasted throughout the week, Jesus. just as you have prayed throughout the week, this is the time for you to seal it up with your sacrifice so that God will move something that will bring God down. And you know, I'm so good to me. Baby, you have to do it. And who here, Papa, Papa, And who here, and you say, and you say, what bumpire, what you have come to the Now, Bible, now you can kind of actually say, Israel for who said foolish trans for no air banner. What time for air banner? What shall see a usu? Usu a pemwa, usu a suer di or jibaba. Then so a sunny in a chino, a mobia ma, a mobia ma. Then somewhere started to all pompay, not empire bonachino, or this sacrifice, a ma a radi. Babu say, or soon a beer, soon a beer, soon a beer, soon a we own your mere yes, Sumuno. Yes, Lord. And to fast now, I yeno, umpesa be your quack. Yes, who prays now, we yeno, two other week, and umpesa be your quack. What they will sacrifice? What for the bo, a bet tie a tree. And never yes, my way. Every day, Biano, on your member, we are at war. What make our world different from the, that of the, uh, the Israelites is that they were able to see their enemies coming. But today's world war. You don't even know who your enemy is. Mm. It's so dangerous. Mm. It is going through the air that we are breathing. Mm. Your, your enemy might be standing next to you, but you have no idea mm -hmm. for you to cry, yes. for you to pray, for you to offer a sacrifice. Wow. You don't see your enemy, and that makes it even more dangerous. All that you can do is to cry unto this God Amen. so that he will take care of you. Amen. Give unto the Lord. Yes. And he will watch over your life. Amen. Just as he took care of Abraham. Just as he took care of Samuel and the people of Israel. For for the body of Abraham, he said, 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 Na obey you know what the old problem. Now be not as he dear, not a new yam epling could be dear, a bear with dear, or yen already is a demo. Amen. Some members of Shas here. Now would they were for the board, dear Eba? We have also made a provision for those who are not ready to give today. Perhaps you want to pledge an offering. Pledges are allowed. And we are going to provide numbers on the screen. My number will be there. And the Matthew number will be there. Pastor from Paul number will be there. Feel free to give us a call. And let us know how much you want to preach. And what time you want to honor that preach. It is an opportunity. You don't want to be left out. You don't want to be left out. And Pastor don't want you to be left out. And that's why he's giving this window for you. In case your money is not ready, in case your sacrifice is not ready, you are free to preach. And then let us know. Just send me your name, send Pastor your name, send Edda Matthew your name, and how much you want to give, and at what time you want to honor that preach. And the Lord will bless you. May God Almighty bless you as you have obeyed Jesus, His word. Amen. Lover of my soul, Jesus. I will never let you go. You're taking me from the miry clay. You set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you. I need you. Though my word may fall, I never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. Jesus, Jesus lover of my soul, lover of my soul 
oh Jesus, I will never let you go. You're taking me, taking me from the Mary Clay. You set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you. Lord, I need you. Though my world may fall, I never let you go. You, my Savior, my closest friend, and I will worship you, worship you until the very end. And I love you, Lord, I need you. Though my world may fall. My Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you, I will worship you until the very oh Jesus, love of my soul, oh Jesus, I will never let you go. You're taking me. From the Mary Clay, you set my feet upon the rock. Yeah, Lord, I love you. Oh, Lord, I need you. Though my world may fall, my Savior. My closest friend, closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and wave into the Lord right now. Lord, I lead you. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, I love you. Lord, I need you. Though my world may fall, my Savior, my closest friend, and I will worship you. One time, oh, I love you, Lord, I need you, though my world may fall, I never let you go, my Savior, my closest friend, and I will worship you, until the very end, my Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. My Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. I love you. I need you, though my world may fall, I never let you go, my Savior, my closest friend, Lord, I will worship you, worship you until the very end, oh, my Savior. My closest, my closest friend, now I will worship you, I will worship you until the very end. Lord, we thank you, and I love you, I need you, though my world may fall, I never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, 
He loves a cheerful giver. I will worship you. God loves a cheerful giver. Thank him, thank him. That you were able to do something. Jesus. You were able to sow a seed, thank him. Say your world is a privilege to come to God and sow a seed. It is a privilege. It is a privilege. It is a blessing. It is a blessing. Thank God for counting your word. For accepting your offering. For smelling your offering as an incense. Oh Jesus. Give him praise. 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 Worship him. Worship him. Because your sacrifice has been accepted. Your worship has been accepted. Your worship has been accepted. Love God for accepting your worship. Give God a praise for worship for accepting your worship. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we worship you. Because you have accepted us. You have accepted our worship. You have accepted our worship. You have accepted our worship. What a God. What a God. What a God. You rule in heaven. But in the affairs of men, you stand in. Oh, Kaba Sata. Masuri and Telelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
The worship is going to give you hope. The worship is giving you hope. It's giving you hope. It's giving you hope. If you are down, you are strong. If you are weak, you are coming back. Strength is coming back. What has lost is recovering. Now grace upon grace be unto you. Jesus' name. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. May it be your portion. Amen. May light overcome every darkness ahead of you. In Jesus' name. Go in our blessings yes. and in the grace. Celebrate because God has heard your cry. Yes. And your grievances are before God. Amen. And he has stepped in as his word says, I sit in heaven and I step in the affairs of him. Yes. Your affairs has been stepped in by God. Victory, success, prosperity is yours. Amen. Above all, celebrate in this goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too. I will praise you, Lord, with every breath that I take. I will praise you, Lord. This is a promise that I make. When eternity ends and starts all over again, even then, I will praise you, Lord. Ebenezer, thus far, the Lord has helped us. Beloved, God bless you for this morning, for your time, for your participation, for your passion, and for the joy that you have come into the presence of God with. Please, let's pay attention for the following announcements. Our week is back on schedule. All programs are back in session. Our morning devotion, as always, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. on our Uber conference. Tuesday prayer chain will be taking place with communal prayers at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. Wednesday Bible studies will be on our Zoom. The Uber conference will be calling us as a reminder. And then on Thursday, our Spiritual Clinic 2.0 begins at 7 p.m. It's a whole new spiritual clinic. Come join us and let's delve deep into prayers. And then on Thursday, please do not forget, service will be on Uber Conference. The time once again, 7 p.m. Friday prayer night is a push night where we pray until something happens. Do not miss out. Do not upset. Thank you for tuning in to the live worship service of Oakland District. We invite you to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube and Facebook pages. And when it is safe to do so, please come and visit us at our Central Assembly here in Martinez, California, or our Antioch Assembly in Antioch, California, both located in Northern California. If you would like to contact us for additional information, have a prayer request, or simply need someone to talk to, please contact us at the phone number below. Thank you so much, and God richly bless you. See you again next Sunday.